Hi, once again, it's uh, Paul Carmen with another little tutorial for you. Um, this is just a, a little video about how to save a setting into the keyboard set library. Um, now the keyboard set libraries are accessed using these uh, 12 buttons. Um, as many of you will know, these, these buttons serve two functions. When you're in a set list and that set list button, you can choose any of the available um, set list um, settings from the 12 buttons. But we, when that is not lit, this is where we find our keyboard set library entries. Now, keyboard set library entry is basically a complete registration for right hand, left hand. You can have edits, you can have splits, etc, etc. It's the whole thing, but without the style data. It's just storing the sound data. Now what I tend to store in the keyboard set library are mixtures of sounds, edited voices that I use on quite a regular basis that it's not easy to set up you know on the fly within a couple of seconds. So that's what I tend to store in there. Now we have sort of two banks uh, or two distinct sets of keyboard set libraries. When the user button isn't on, we if we press any one of these buttons, we can access um, the different categories and those categories down the side tally with the categories on the buttons just there. So there's been quite a lot done for you. That They're not all necessarily individual voices. Some of them are mixtures of voices. For instance, if you go into the piano section on page two, you'll find you've got piano and strings, piano and electric piano. These are pre-made mixes for you to use. Um, some may be across the whole keyboard, some may have splits um, set up. But you've also got a user tab at the top, and this allows you then to set up your own categories. Now, I've named some of them and I've left some of them as user. You can call these tabs whatever you want. So, um, for instance, I've got a piano tab here. I've got things like full piano. I've got piano with sustain. I've got piano split. I've got an octave piano made up. I've got old honky tonk piano, etc. If um, you know, I go to some of the other categories, we've got different sounds in there, and we've got the user bank along here. Now, one of the sounds that I use quite a lot is a mixture of, I've got Panpipe 1, it's the DNC voice, and I've mixed it with Blown Bottle, one of the general MIDI voices. Um, I've got the volume set as I want them, so the Pan Flute 1 is the dominant voice. The Blown Bottle is there in the background just to add a, a little bit extra breathiness, if you like, to the Pan Flute. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select uh, a lower voice that I want. So I'm going to go into the uh, factory sounds and I'm going to choose lyrical choir. So we've now got choir down here. Let's bring, bring the volume up a little bit. Now the other thing I want to do, I'm going to go into the pan flute. And I'm going to go into the menu and track controls. And the third tab along at the bottom is sound edit. We've been in there before to look at things like release. We've got some vibrato settings. I'm going to add around about 10 depth of vibrato and 10 or 11 as the speed. And that just gives me a nice extra slightly heavier vibrato that I want. So I'll bring the, the blown bottle back in with it. Okay, at this point the accompaniment is still a little bit loud, so I'm gonna, gonna get that exactly as I want it. Okay, I'm happy with that. You may want to work further on it and, and mix other voices and have other voices ready to come in. Um, in a nutshell, you get everything to do with the right and left hand sounds exactly as you want it. Then we're going to actually proceed now and save it in the keyboard set library. The little arrow in the top right hand corner of the screen, press that and we get the drop down menu. 
The top option says right keyboard set to library. We press that. Now, first thing you can do is name it. Um, I'm going to clear that name and I'm going to call this Condor Space Pipes. Just purely because for me, that means something and I'll know exactly what sound that is. Obviously you call it whatever means the most to you. Press OK. Now we have to choose where we're going to store it. Well, I'm going to store it in the, in the user section. So I'm going to press select. And I'm going to store it in user 7. If you look at the moment, uh, we've got up to the first couple of entries on page 3. So I'll tap that third entry there. And we press exit. It now says that we've got a new sound called Condor Pipes into user 7 into an empty slot. Just there. We press OK. Are you sure? Yes. Now the easiest way to check that is basically if we go into the user button and press 7. So we want user and 7. And if you remember it was on page 3. There it is, Condor Pipes. And just by tapping that it recalls that whole setting, right hand, left hand, it's remembered the vibrato settings. So that sound is now stored in our keyboard set library for instant recall. And when you're building up your songbook entries with your four keyboard sets here, of course you can call up one of these. You just, to call them up, just always make sure the set list um, button isn't on. So that's just a, a simple exercise there of showing you how to save a combination into the keyboard set library. Mm -hmm.